Hello, welcome back to my dojo for high performance. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master Ep. And today we're gonna teach you how to create your dream reality, your dream life, everything you ever could have imagined. I'm gonna give you the blueprint for it today. So before we do, let's quickly review what we've already covered in this playlist. So we've talked about building your relationship with your subconscious mind, understanding that to do so, we need to program our beliefs and make sure those beliefs are designed and aligned with the life that we want. And we've gone through all these exercises, and hopefully you have already. If you haven't, go ahead and check out the playlist linked in the right-hand corner and go do that now. But if you have, you should already have discovered your beliefs, you should already have figured out your reason for being. And now here in this video today, we get the opportunity to bring it all together to help you create your dream life. Now, before we get into the meats and potatoes of this video, I wanna mention that we do still have that free meditation app available for you. The free seven day challenge is available and that is such an awesome resource for helping you build that relationship with your subconscious mind, giving you more control and the ability to start to program your mind to create the life that you want. So that's linked up in the description below, available for iPhones and Androids for free. Okay, moving on. Now that we've discovered what our old beliefs are, we can get rid of those, right? We can say, you know what? Those served me up to a point, but most of them served you to keep you safe. And unfortunately, the things that keep you safe are not usually the things that help you thrive in the world. So we're gonna let go of those. Now that we know our reason for being, we're gonna take that and we're gonna reverse engineer it into our new beliefs. So right here, right now, I want you to finish these sentences and to do so beforehand, I would like you to get into a relaxed meditative state if you can. Again, I will link up a meditation to help you with this if you wanna do it again after this video. It's gonna be linked up in that app and that's gonna be one of the subscribe meditations. So you have to get the membership to get access to this. But either way, I'd like you to get relaxed. You can take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth and bring your ego, your rational mind out of this because it's not gonna help you in this process. And I want you to really get in touch with your heart. And I want you to finish a sentence, I am blank. You can write this down, you can pause the video right now if you need to and come back to it. People are blank. The world is blank. Relationships are blank. Money is blank. Good health is blank. Success is blank. And life is blank. Now these are some starter beliefs. These aren't all the beliefs, of course, you'll need to incorporate into your life to make sure that you follow through with your reason for being, but these are the foundational beliefs. They umbrella a lot of big parts of your life, so make sure that you have these nailed down. And it can be one thing, it can be a few things. I like to just say, I am blank. So for me, I am loving. It's as simple as that. And so you can pick what these are for yourself and make sure that these beliefs really do align with your reason for being. So what you're trying to create in the world, what you did in the last video, because these beliefs, as we've talked about before, are gonna be programming your subconscious. And now, how do we take these new beliefs, once you have them, and bring them into the subconscious? Well, we do so in a couple different ways. We do so through meditation, so we go into a relaxed state, so we take our mind out of our normal operating beta brainwave mind, and we drop it into alpha, theta, and even delta, a more relaxed, slowed brainwave, primarily these brainwaves, because you always have all of them going, but the more you get of alpha, the more you get theta, the more you get delta, the more you're gonna be able to relax, deeply go into this deep, deep hypnotic state where you're gonna be able to program your mind again. So that's why it's so important to go into meditation at least for a few minutes every day and repeat these beliefs. Maybe just pick one at a time to start. So for the first few days, you just start with your I am statement and that belief 
you just program through meditation. And again, I'm gonna put a meditation to help you do this as well in my meditation app. If you want some more coaching, want that one-on-one -on -one experience with me, that'll be available there. Now beyond just meditation, you need to begin to program your mind. And you do so, like we talked about in past videos, through self-hypnosis, and that happens through repetition. So we create habits through repetition. We also create new programs and subconscious beliefs through repetition. So when you're walking your dog, or when you are driving to work, or when you are doing anything really where you're just by yourself and you have a moment with your own mind, just you and your mind to connect, just start to repeat, I am blank, I am blank, and feel the deep emotions of actually believing that those beliefs are real. And I should have mentioned this before, when you're doing those meditations, as much as you can, bring all your senses into it. So take your beliefs and imagine seeing yourself actually acting out these beliefs and seeing that movie in your head. So doing it through, watching through your third eye and seeing that movie play of you living out these beliefs. So these are a couple ways you can do it. Now, to go a step farther, and again, I know most people won't do this, and I wanna say again, I, I, I don't really want those people in this community. I want this community to all be people who've decided that they do wanna create their dream life and they're willing and committed to take the action to do so. So hopefully that is you. So I'm gonna give you the cheat codes to really make this happen. What I want you to do is step into an identity that embodies these beliefs. And so a helpful exercise for you might be, okay, what is my reason for being? What do I say that I want to do in the world? Who do I wanna be? Now take that person and I want you to imagine, is there anyone else out there in the world that is already doing that in some way? Whether it's music or running a business or creating a new product or creating art or anything that you have decided what your reason for being is, imagine that there are other people out there because I know there are. There's at least one person doing something at least similarly to what you want to do. And think about how have they been successful in this? They've done so by embodying some beliefs. And so imagine what beliefs they had and imagine stepping into their body and actually acting out a day in their life. So really embodying that identity and saying, okay, if I want to step into this new reality, I'm gonna to have to step into this new identity. So that identity is always going to be you, but you're gonna be utilizing some of the people that inspire you to grab some of the beliefs or grab some of the characteristics and traits that you wanna bring into your life because you know they've created the result that you already want. So by modeling that, it's gonna help you create results even faster and get even more clarity around the beliefs that you need to have to make it happen. And then the final step is going to be taking the actions that align with this identity and align with these beliefs. So if you really believe something and you are owning that identity fully, what actions would you take on a consistent basis? What would you actually do every day? What would your new habits be? What would your rituals be in your life to create these results? And you need to decide for yourself what that is. Because the biggest thing that a lot of people miss when it comes to law of attraction is maybe they start to get these positive thoughts and they visualize, I wanna create this, I wanna create this, but they don't do anything. And if you don't do anything, you can't expect to create any results. So you need to now start to take deliberate, consistent action. That's deciding what deliberate actions do you need to take either every day, every week, or every couple weeks to make sure that you're embodying the identity that you want and the beliefs to create your reason for being and make sure that you can bring that out into the world. It all happens through that action. If you think about any professional athlete or musician who has made a great or a successful entrepreneur or a successful game-changing scientist, all these people have just put in hours and hours of repetition on their craft. And that is what you're gonna have to do. And the beautiful thing about this is that you need to reframe your mind around work and see it as play. Success is fun. Working is joyful, it's playful, and it should be if you really align yourself with your reason for being. And so the hours and hours of repetition that you spent aren't hours drudging away, hating your life, thinking to yourself, oh, this is so much work. No, it should be getting you to jump out of bed every morning excited to take action. 
And yes, there will be periods of time where you feel frustrated or you feel stuck or you feel lack of motivation. And when those moments happen, come back to your beliefs, come back to your reason for being, understanding why you got started, who you are, what identity you're now embodying, and then taking the action despite not feeling the emotions that make you want to do the thing. And the thing is, once you start to get some motion, you start to take some action, you're gonna feel the emotions start to come with it. You'll start to gain more motivation as you gain traction and as you gain that momentum because life is all about momentum. Once you get started, it's easier to keep going. So start right now. I know many people are gonna watch this video and be like, this sounds cool, but I don't know if this is gonna work for me. No, this works for everyone. This is how anyone has ever been successful about anything. And whether they have this framework for it and they believe it or not, in their subconscious, they have created the beliefs to create the world that they wanted out there. They've stepped into the identity to do it and they took the consistent action to make it happen, okay? So if you wanna do it, that's it. You have the framework, you have the blueprint, this whole playlist is there to support you. I have meditation sessions in the description below that are also there to support you. You'll have me coaching you, guiding you on this journey. And now it's just on you to take action and do the thing. So I hope so much that you do take the action. I know that those of you who are on your path and were destined for greatness will do it because you know you have that feeling in your heart that this is what you were meant to do and you're gonna do it. So. All right, I'm done talking today. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Brandon Epstein, AKA Zen Master App. I will catch you on the next video.